Okay, the question was how do I change the ribbon out on my machine? Uh, the ribbon runs from the head, it makes a loop, comes back, comes down, and attaches up here um, at a terminal. Make sure your power is off, then you can reach here, grab this bar, and pull it forward. And you can see the terminal here. And then it goes back, rotates around, and it clips on the top of the head here. Okay? So the way that we're going to change that, let me uh, adjust the camera here a little bit so we get a little better angle, and I'll go ahead and do it. Okay, now how to change this, you'll have to remove the ribbon cable on this end and the ribbon cable on this end. Okay? Uh, some of them are protected with a little piece of tape like this one here. Some of them have a little glob of glue on them. It just depends on what machine you got, when it was made. Now to do this, this just this side over here, work with me here. This side over here just flips up just a little bit. So just put your finger underneath of it, pull up slightly. It doesn't move very far. You see that? Just a little bit. Okay, and when that's in the up position, you can grab this cable and pull it away. Just like that. Okay? Now if you look at the cable closely, you'll see this side's black. And that side's silver. Remember, what side goes where? Silver goes down to the contacts. So the black would be up like that. Okay, once you have this disconnected, you can pull it towards you and it it's because it's just flipped over on top of itself here. Part of the way down, um, there's like double sticky tape on the side of it, so just kind of pull up slightly on it until it comes up. And that goes for a while, and then it'll break free. And if you want, you can put this down, pull the head out of the way. And this is the back side of it, it's a double sticky tape. Continue to pull it up, it comes off. Now this end over here, you do the same thing with your finger now, raise it up slightly, and pull it out. And remember, black side is up, white side is down. There's your ribbon to take it off. Now we'll do the motherboard. Okay, with your machine came this Allen wrench to get those screws out. Um, I'm going to use my little screwdriver that I got. It's a little more convenient for me. But um, I'm going to take both these two screws out. This air assist may be tacked up in there. You might be able to get it out with it there. You may have to disconnect the little zip tie to move it out of the way. Um, typically, you just remove that zip tie whenever you're going to put the two watt in. But um, go ahead and get both those screws out. And once they're out, um, it gives you access to that motherboard. There's a little white connector on it. Um, you might have a little glue on it to hold it in place. You might have scraped it off, but then kind of pry it out, and that piece will snap out. There's the little motherboard. Put your new one. Connect that wire um, back on it. And then go ahead, place it back in place, lining up your holes and grab a screw and start get the screw started into the hole. When you put this back together, I'm sorry my hands are going to be in the way, but when you put this back together just get one screw started, don't tighten it down all the way, then grab the other screw and get it started and you can go ahead and tighten it up. They just don't have to be real tight, they just have to be um, holding that piece in place. All right, now these are both tightened up, set in place. You're going to take your ribbon cable and you're going to stick it in the hole. Again, make sure the black piece is up slightly. And take your ribbon cable and you're going to have to kind of, you'll, you'll feel it go into the slot. It doesn't go in real far, but you'll feel it go in. And once it's in the slot there, you can go ahead and you can push the back piece down and 
and then kind of give it a little tug to make sure she's in place. Then you run that ribbon wire back down along the slot, all the way back down, and then it curls up and hooks onto the head. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull the head forward. And I've already connected it, but you, you get to see here. You'll see where it connects. I want you to get the tape out of the way. Just like you did on the other side, lay the ribbon and cable in there till it's snug. Then push down the back black side, cover it up with the protective tape, slide it in there. Now, if that black ribbon starts to move and give you trouble, you can go ahead and put double sticky tape on the back of it. But you don't go all the way down, it only goes about halfway down, so it gives it room for the head to move back and forth. You can test it by sliding it back and forth to see where it needs to go and when it needs to stop. But once you've done all that, everything's done, your new ribbon's in, your new motherboard's in, you're good to go.